Hello everyone, welcome back to the Infrastructure channel. In today's video, we are diving into the SAP API management, specifically how to add policies for basic authentication against the ES5 demo system. So if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon for getting the future updates. So now let's get started. So as you know, SAP API management is a powerful tool that allows you to manage and secure your APIs efficiently and the policies are essentially the rules or configurations you apply to your APIs to control their behavior. They provide the flexibility to add common functionalities on the API without having to code them individually each time. And also policies provides features to secure APIs, control the API traffic and transforms message format. So you can choose the following types of policies. The first one is predefined policy templates that are available at SAP Business Accelerator Hub. And the second one is the pre built policies within the policy editor. So in this tutorial, we'll be using the predefined policies within the policy editor. Let me just show you the few policy types. So here it is. So we we have different types of policies here like access control, assign message, basic authentication, extract variables and so on. So in this video, uh, we'll be adding the basic authentication policy against the S5 demo system. So there are also some prerequisites for this video. The first one is like you must have a working API management. Second one is the working API provider and third one uh, the working API. So these three points we have already covered in the previous video and in this video we will be performing these activities. The first one is like we will assign a message policy then we will add a basic authentication policy and after that we will test the policy. Okay now let's just quickly jump to our integration suite. You need to go to configure then click on APIs. Now in the API proxy, you need to choose the GW sample basic. This one we have already created in the previous video. So if you haven't watched that video, I suggest please watch that first. Okay, now we'll click on policies. So this policy editor offers the following options in the request and response. As you can see in this image. So we'll first click on update. So as you can see the plus icon is available now and we can add them to our flow. So we'll choose here target endpoint and we'll click on post flow. And the first policy that we are going to add is the message policy. Okay, so let me just select the assign message here. And we need to give a name. Now click on add. So as you can see, we have this XML editor. In this XML editor, we need to enter the credentials for the ES5 demo system. That is the username and the password. Okay, now let me just quickly edit this XML. Let me just add another policy which is the basic authentication. You need to enter the name. And click on add. And that's it. Now you need to click on update. And after that click on save. Now again, you need to deploy this API. So once it is deployed, let us navigate to the resources. Click on tryout. Now execute. 
So as you can see, we have got the 200 code, which means it is executed successfully. Now let us just test the API in the API test console. We will choose the business partner set here. And let me click on send. So here the status code is 200 means that it is working correctly. And that's it. We have successfully added a basic authentication policy to our API in the SAP integration suite. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like to make me cover in the future videos, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.